of which was the story of the queen of Sheba, Saba, in the Quran, and how it played out. This is the power of Holy Israel. That Holy Israel is the ruling state in the world. What do we mean by a ruling state? A ruling state does not have to rule every square inch of the suburbs of Chicago and every square inch of the suburbs of Bombay. No. When we use the term ruling state, we mean that no rival or no community of rivals, no group of rivals could possibly supersede the power and status of the state. Hence the ruling state in the world. This was the golden age when the Jews ruled the world. And history cannot end until that golden age is restored. That a promised Messiah, divinely promised Messiah, will come. And when he comes, he will rule the world from holy Jerusalem, from the state of Israel. And this will bring back that golden age. And this will be the validation of Judaism's claim to truth. In the same way that the Christians concluded, Jesus is coming back soon. Here is the evidence. <laughs> Here is the evidence that Israel has been restored. So Jesus is coming back soon. All the Christians believe that. So too, the Jews of the world are living on the edge now, biting their fingernails in excitement. Why? Oh, the Messiah must be around the corner. We are expecting him any moment. Why? The evidence is there that we were given this holy land by Allah Most High. He gave it to us. The deed for the holy land is in our name. And we were a people who betrayed our covenant with Allah. And so he punished us and expelled us. And we were in exile for many years. But now by divine grace, the Holy Land has been liberated. And when I use the word liberated, can I be speaking as a Muslim who says the Holy Land is liberated? No, I'm speaking from their viewpoint. And I would have expected that my audience would have at least five ringgits worth of intelligence. And not to object to my use of the word liberated. I'm speaking from their perspective. From our perspective as Muslims, the Holy Land was free when we ruled over it. There was justice and there was freedom in the Holy Land for more than a thousand years when Muslim rule existed. And now that freedom is gone. And now there is oppression and slavery in the Holy Land. So it's no longer a liberated territory. It's now an occupied Holy Land. This is our perspective. But we are speaking from their perspective. And five ringgits worth of intelligence could understand why I use the word liberated from their perspective. 
So the Holy Land is liberated. That means that they are now excited. And then we return to the Holy Land to reclaim it as our own from their perspective. Why can't people understand? It is simple English that I'm using. I can't speak Bahasa. So they are even more excited now. And then a state of Israel is born in 1948. And therefore the excitement increases. And that state of Israel grows and grows and grows in power. until it is now poised to take over from the United States as the next ruling state in the world. That takeover cannot take place without the crash of the US dollar. And this is why the US dollar is now being deliberately dismantled. It's not happening by accident. It was planned long in advance. The U.S. economy is now deliberately being dismantled. It's not happening by accident. It was planned long in advance. And a black man was put <laughs> into the White House to take the blame for it. <laughs> yes. So, Israel is about to replace the United States of America. We have, we have explained this Jewish view in our book, Jerusalem in the Quran. And it is now also translated into Bahasa, Jerusalem di Dalam al-Quran. But you notice the Bahasa book is twice the size of the English book. And so, they are living on the edge now, biting their fingernails in excitement that the Messiah is about to come. And when he comes, it will validate the Jewish claim to truth. They are convinced that history is moving in that direction. Modern Western civilization is a very curious creature. It emerged in history in a very mysterious way. The more we look at it, the more it looks like a rival sunrise to the one ordained by Allah. This is our sunrise, the truth. In our sunrise, the sunrise is from the east. And the truth therefore comes with that sunrise from the east. But modern Western civilization has come to rival truth. Rival the truth which came with Abraham alayhi salam. The truth which came with David and Solomon and Jesus alayhi salam. Rival the truth which came with Islam. Everything that modern Western civilization has done was to prevent an al to present an alternative to the religious way of life. And so this is something mysterious. This could not have emerged by accident. It looks like a plan at work. And there are those who have eyes and they want to see and ears and they want to hear. 
and hearts and they want to understand 